here and my parents are watching Colombian TV in the background so sorry if you may hear some Colombian words. Today the video will be all about the two week shred Chloe thing challenge. I've been seeing this video all around TikTok and YouTube making videos of their progress and I think that's really great to make your quarantine something productive and a time for you and all of us to live a healthier and stronger life. Before I begin the video, I would like to put out two disclaimers. Number one, just because the results for me is working or somewhat working or not even working does not mean that it will be the same for you in the end there are multiple videos sharing their point of view on on their journey of the challenge there are different perspectives of it and it the reason that I, there's so many perspectives is because it all depends on you and what your body type is, your age, your gender, and many more factors to go along with it. So in the end, it is not a one-size-fits-all workout. So if it works for you, then good. And if it doesn't work for you, there are multiple workout routines that you could do. And I would recommend, based on my research, Sophie, Pamela Reef. Emmy Wong and more just search in the fitness side of YouTube I'm sure there will be lots and lots of fitness routines you can do with just a mat and no equipment at all so even though you don't have a gym yourself you can still lose the weight and work out and also be stronger with just your body and a yoga mat which you can buy quite cheaply today nowadays second of all the reason that I will do the Chloe Teen Challenge, despite its pros and cons, is because I heard for me, in my opinion, and in my hearings, is that it is great for beginners. Make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel as well. For more shenanigans and stuff you want to see on my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let us begin the video. So here is day one. Yay! My goal for this workout challenge is to get myself started once again in my fitness journey, lose my toxins, be stronger, and live a healthier life as well. Disclaimer though, my form sucks. Proceed with caution and kindness. Shut up. So this is me on day one, doing my thing, feeling like I'm dead inside all the time. What it could be, pieces of my mind. And the fact that I'm screaming inside that holy shit, and I really do this. After a few days, I got my period and I stopped for a while. So anyways, I did day 1 to day 3 but I didn't really think of recording it again. So here is day 4 of my Chloe thing challenge. Wink wink. Okay, so this is actually day 4 of my Chloe thing 2 week shred challenge and I'm actually when you saw the last vlog that I made I actually started already but I kind of caught it off because I had my period and my tummy did it my body didn't feel good so I wasn't able to really exercise much so this week I'm totally going to dedicate myself in making sure each day and I'm going to follow the program that Chloe thing had on her website it's in the description below if you want to see it and Today, I'm going to do day 5 of the Chloe Ting Challenge. And yeah, I'm going to do it now. And I'm going to have fun listening to music while doing so. Now we are dancing like the nights are never
for day 5. Supposedly, it's gonna be my rest day, but I'm gonna swap the days to make it my preference since tomorrow is Saturday and stuff, and it's the weekend. So, as much as possible in my schedule, I will just swap the days. And yeah, I also have these elbow pads that my dad bought me. That my dad bought me because while I was doing the workout, uh, I have a little, uh, what you call this? Bruise. <laughs> I had a bruise here and here while I was doing up and down planks, which is a lot. So I had these bought for, you know, a few bucks and stuff. And I have to do sweat again <laughs> today because I honestly cheated a little bit and I ate a little bit of chips. On day 7, that is when I started really writing the things that I thought each day, make a logbook about my experiences in the Korean challenge. So on day 7, I just returned from an active rest day and suddenly I only did two workouts due to the tiredness and my thighs and my hamstring is starting to cry, trying to give up, but at least I did cool down stretches though. So here is day 8. I felt myself getting stronger during that time. Supposed to film the cooldown, but my camera died on me. And because I forgot to charge it because I'm a dumb dumb. But, anyways, on day 8, I tried to modify my workout because of how horrible I did on day 7. And I'm trying to do better this time. Okay, two more works out to go. I got this. Oh my gosh. But so far, though. My right thigh is literally hurting me and I don't know why. So I'm just going to keep going guys and make sure that my right thigh still survives. So guys, I forgot to tell you guys, I have a logbook. Let's see. I have a logbook right here, and this is where I place my thoughts on each day, so that I'll be able to, you know, commentate on each workout and stuff. And I think this will help you out as well to see on how your progress is doing, on how you're feeling and stuff. Just a little thought, you know, make yourself a logbook. I st just started doing this. I think during day seven, I just thought of doing it. So yeah. So here is day 9. <laughs> here is day 9. I did my usual workouts but at least my right thigh is feeling a little bit better. And I didn't do all of the workouts sadly because I, me and my dad had to do something important together so I had to cut my workout short. I got very busy ever since. But 
at least I did my workouts rather than not doing the workouts, you know? So day 11, I'm back at it again with the right pants. I mean, exercising for Chloe thing. I did all the workouts, even the optional. I actually modified it not to do the corresponding per day. So just a head note on that. And I did the Ariana Grande workout first. And to be honest, it's very, very fun. I love listening to songs differently while doing this workout. Because as well, it is short, just three minutes. So I had fun. But I wasn't able to record all of them because my memory card killed me. I forgot the transfer file and the burn on my hands. Oh my god, it killed me. But it's so worth it and I celebrated it with broccoli and black rice. It is really delicious and healthy at the same time. Totally recommend. As you guys can see, I got really, <laughs> really, uh, what do you call this? Determined today, so I did my eyebrows today. Anyways, today is day 12 of my Chloe Team Workout Challenge, the two-week shred. And so far, it has been good, but there's some time skips here and there. And at least my parents said that I lost a little bit of weight on my cheeks and face, I think, because they usually notice how I lose weight because of my face, because my face tends to really adjust. Anyways, I will now exercise because later, um, me and my dad are going to paint our room again and you'll have to know what it is in future vlogs. Bye! So today, the focus for today is ab workouts on day 12. Ab workouts always make me feel dead inside, but it is the part where I want to exercise the most because belly fat is the most stubborn, just like your ex, very stubborn. Shut up. Anyways, I'm slowly getting through it, and I did all of the workouts, so at least I'm getting through something. Yeah, don't give me facts, not fiction Then you know I fucking listen Cause I'm on a fucking mission Man, you got to be driven Cause this world is unforgiving You're the only one that's winning Or the only one that's quitting So get up and stay committed Don't be asking for permission Hit the gas after ignition And start acting like you're winning Make your wrong damn decisions Don't let others make you victims Have a thought and have a vision Don't get caught up in the millions Yeah, yeah I'ma make this shit high Oh, I'ma light this shit up
and I got what I wanted. I'ma go ahead and finish all that I started. I'ma go ahead and get it all. So day 13! Wow, we are almost there. I cannot believe it. So I did three fourths of the workouts, even though there was the sudden rain that caused my head to spin like I feel dizzy when I'm almost done doing all of the workouts. And during this time, I sweated like buckets. That's what's important though. I'd rather go out there and do at least a few minutes of exercise rather than not doing anything at all. I can make this place go off like a rocket. I can give a fuck if you hate it or you love it. I don't do this shit because I think that you're running. I just do this shit because I know that I want it. I can give a fuck if I die today. If I'm a go out, it's my fucking way. At least I'll go out with some pride to my name. With the fight that I play, that's my fucking way. I swear to God. <laughs> Hello everyone, so this is day 14 aka the last day of my Chloe Ting challenge and uh, this journey has been hell because I never sweated this much in my life, honestly. I never sweated in my life for the past two weeks. I sweated a lot, I feel like I was dying inside but during this challenge it is all worth it. Um, I'm going to do the last four exercises, the day 14 exercises, the four videos that are on the playlist of two week share challenge and i don't know if my form has improved or not because i still feel like i could take a break at times because it's just hard for me to adjust but i could i do notice at some point that on some poses i became stronger back then i wouldn't be able to do it without much exercise but now i could be able to at least adjust take it slow as i should be <laughs> anyways i'm going to do the challenge now and the results will be later Bye. day 14 baby all right day 14 so i really tried pushing myself for this last day doing the two week shred creating challenge and surprisingly compared to yesterday i feel amazing even though i was out of breath and overall, at least I finished it and I'm really really happy. Anyway, here is myself uh, trying to survive, feeling like I'm dead inside, but you know, at least it's done. I'm excited. Cold, collide, hold tight, hold tight. Hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights, paint the sky. I have so many takes in this one. My head hurts. <laughs> Anyways, this is my body before the workout. It is 65.6 kilograms of fat weight or something. I didn't record myself jumping on the scale because I thought of recording it halfway. Halfway to the challenge. Drum roll, please. And after 
after this is me now with 64.1 kilograms of weight and i lost 1.5 kilograms and my initial thoughts on this workout by Chloe Tay is that it works for me in weight loss when you do it slowly but surely. But in the ab section, it's a bit debatable because my body type is a literal chub. It's a literal chub. Day 14. It is finally done. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy it's done because... I spent the two weeks suffering mostly every day, suffering myself in the hot weather upstairs here just to really shed the pounds in order to have a goal of having, having a healthier body. It's finally done. The two weeks challenge is finally done. So actually, after I was doing the workout, after doing the workout, I rested a bit and checked my phone and then I scrolled to TikTok and did did some research about the Chloe Ting challenge. So there are some sports students that expose Chloe Ting that she spreads misinformation about weight, she spreads information about the 11 up thing, and one influencer even had a, I think a 62 Instagram story highlight just to expose the misinformation Chloe Ting has been giving. But I'm not defending Chloe Ting or anything, you know, but I'm not defending her. But she did say a disclaimer in all or most of her videos that all the results and the results in the effect of the workout will depend on your body type. It is not a one size fits all workout. It depends on your discipline, the body weight the age the gender body type did i already say that one and more in the end though do the workouts that is best for you if growing thing doesn't work out for you that's all right because there are multiple workouts out there in youtube that work such as pamela reeves many sports scientists actually recommended pamela reeves so maybe after these two weeks red challenge i will try pamela I heard it's gonna be way more intense than Chloe things, but hey, at least I would get some results out of it as well. You know, I'm quite excited and nervous at the same time, but I know that I got this because I survived Chloe things to wish a challenge. But what I can give Chloe thing props to is that this worked out for me in my experience half for my experience because not every experience is a one size fits all. But my, in my experience, Chloe Ting's two-way short challenge is a great program if you're a beginner, if you are a lazy person like me. That's all I have to say in this video. And that is the end of the vlog. My journey What a Chloe Ting challenge. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching everyone. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Stay safe everyone. Make sure to wear your mask every day when you go out. It's been three months since I last left the house. And I'm still stuck at home. But anyways, it helped me to become more productive in some way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Kisses fall.